Hi folks, Festus here. Uh, another update on the uh, Troy built tiller that I've been restoring. Uh, the one, current one I call uh, Buster. As you saw in a previous video, the uh, rear tine seals were leaking, and uh, just on the uh, the right side in the back. And uh, uh, the reason why was because this uh, all this crud and it's it's mostly uh, string and everything had gotten jammed up in between the. Uh, the housing and the seal and actually tore the seal up so that's why she was leaking so bad so uh... it's pretty easy to take the uh, rear tines off of these they, they have uh... the the uh... the tines are attached to these here uh... newer models they're a little bit different but these are cast iron pieces and it just has a single bolt that goes through the center and uh, believe it or not you know for as rusty everything was it, it came off pretty well you just undo it take it out and then the uh, the whole piece here will slide off and then what you'll see is something like this the uh, the there's only one piece that comes off on the left hand side the other side is actually built into the housing so that does not come off um, and you have these allen head bolts and it's going to be pretty tight and basically I just used a uh, a rubber mallet and a, and a cheap screwdriver and tapping a lot you end up sacrificing there's a uh, there's a gasket in there it's paper that uh, that you're going to sacrifice anyways and uh, you just keep tapping it working it back and forth and before you know it it came right out and uh, so here it is here now um, one of the things that uh, not wasn't so easy to do was uh, taking it out of the uh, the other side. Now there, you also have to watch out when you take it out. There is a key in there, uh, and this is the bronze gear that turns the the back tines. And I tried everything to get it out. She wasn't moving. So eventually, what I had to do was to take the uh, the rear uh, mount off the back here. This is where the uh, the shaft is, and there's a. Uh, uh, a set of uh, bearings and then there's a race in there and you have to back it out a little bit to relieve the tension on there and then I used a rubber mallet again and just kept tapping it and you know, she'll eventually work it out on her own might have to tap it out a little more Let's see if we can do it and uh, it's as simple as that now the uh, the, be the bearings are in good shape. The uh, this is the brass gear, and you can see some wear on it. Now I was reading that uh, if you want, this uh, gear is reversible. So if there's a lot of wear on one side, you can actually flip it over when you put it back in, and you use a fresh on the other side. I mean, I think I've got probably uh, maybe three quarters of the gear intact. So I'm you know I'm not really worried about it for for what I'm going to be using it for. So. But uh, that's pretty much it. Now, on the inside, there's two uh, rubber seals, and they have to be punched out, this one. And then you have to go through here with a rubber mallet and punch that one out. And again, on this, uh, this piece here for the ca end cap, there is another um, paper seal that you end up sacrificing. So I have to order new gaskets and uh, new uh, seals for the rear tines. But... Uh, all in all, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's, it's a little bit involved, but uh, um, it, it can be done. Like I said, uh, I had done it. Uh, uh, Rusty had a uh, uh, leaking uh, rear uh, seal, and uh, it was a little bit different. It didn't have bolts like this. It actually had a double-threaded uh, shaft here with a bolt here, and then threads here and threads here and you had to back the whole thing out where this they upgraded a little bit and they put these big bolts in there so it made it real easy and they must have put grease or something on there because for their uh, the age of this thing it's in the late 70s um, they came out pretty easy so um, that's uh, where it stands for now and then I'll be ordering new uh, seals and uh, new gaskets for the rear end here and again you can see the remnants of the uh, the gasket that was on there. So that that's it for now. Uh, it's coming along slowly, but again, this is a winter project. The other uh, dilemma I have is that the uh, uh, the wheels, none of them hold uh, air, and I've got tubes for them, 
the only thing is they're they're rust welded onto the hubs so I've got uh, several different options for getting them off um, um, on the uh, right side the uh, the pin that holds it in is actually rust welded in there too so I'll probably have to either drill it out or uh, uh, maybe I, you know if worse comes to worse and I can't get a tube in there I'll just drill a hole in the tube and fill the thing up with foam I've seen people do that before too so but uh, we're gonna keep trying I've got a torch we'll put the torch to it and see how it goes from there okay uh, well that's the uh, update that I have for now and uh, I'll keep you in tune with more updates Festus out